Animal Judo DS card trick mastery cursus video. So, for today's video, I'm going to show you guys an amazing beginner slash intermediate card trick that I learned from a million card tricks. His video is a bit different than mine just because I, you know, changed up the trick a little bit. But it's my own trick. Well, it's not my own trick. It's probably someone else's. But I made it my own by changing up a few pieces here and there. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe down below. Hit the notification bell right next to it. And comment for any more video ideas or any video you guys want me to do next. Also, please don't forget to download my song, First Houdini. It is on Spotify. I will leave a link in the description box so you guys can go download that song. If we get 50 downloads in the first 8 days, then I will do a special giveaway on YouTube. I know what I want to give away, but if we can get there in 8 days, then I want to do something special for you guys. That's it for now. Let's get right into this video. Hello there, and welcome to my performance. So, if I had a spectator here... I'd let them choose any four of a kind that they want in the deck. But since no one's here, I'm just going to choose the four tens. This is a completely random choice. You can choose any four of a kind you want to choose. So, here we have the four tens. The ten of spades, ten of hearts, ten of diamonds, and ten of clubs. Now we're going to take out a random amount of cards. Let's say we take out... Hmm... Um, how about that? That, that's a good amount of cards. We'll take the rest of the deck and set it aside. So, now that we have our amount of cards, what we're going to do is we're going to have our spectator put each of their four cards face up in this pile. Now again, if I had a spectator here, they would be putting their own cards face up, but I don't, so I'm going to have to do it for them. So their cards are face up randomly in the middle of this packet. We can go ahead and square it up. And I can go ahead and give it some shuffles. Just to mix up the pack a little bit more. Now we're going to mix it up a little bit more by going down, flip, 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 down, and flip. Just like that. So now all of these cards are really mixed up. In random places, you know, they're just everywhere. Chaos. So, we're going to play a little game. If you guys want me to leave the cards, I will leave them here. If you guys want me to flip them, I will go ahead and flip the cards over. You just have to say the word leave, or you have to say the word flip. I don't have a spectator here, so I'm going to do it myself. Flip. Leave. Flip. 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 Leave. Flip. Leave flip and flip just like that so now we're going to do this one more time but we're going to take four cards leave flip leave leave and flip just like that so now all the cards are again chaotic mixed up in random places and you had the choice on how to mix them up so now what we're going to do is we're going to deal the cards out into four piles and what we're going to do next is I'm going to have you choose which packet you want on top. So which one of these packets do you want on top? Do you want this one on top or this one on top? Okay, so let's say they choose this one. We're going to put that on top and we're going to do this. We're going to set the cards down and we're going to put our hand over it. Now, I want to recap before... I show you this we had your face up cards in the pack face up wherever you wanted them we had shuffled them up in many different ways you told me leave or flip whatever you guys chose that and now the cards are going to go back in time they're going to rearrange themselves inside of the deck now so they went back in time to the point where only the four tens are face up. That is the performance. Now for the tutorial. Hello and welcome to the tutorial. What you're going to take out of the deck is you're going to take out four of a kind, any four of a kind that they choose, and you are going to take out an even number of cards. You have to pay attention to that. 
It cannot be an odd number of cards. My go-to amount is 12 or 16. Those are the two numbers I would recommend of those amount of cards to get out of the deck. You can try even numbers if you want to. Experiment with this trick. Find out what works for you. But I believe that 16 cards and 12 cards are the two best ways of doing it. So once you have their four of a kind and you have you know your 12 or 16 cards out, what you're going to do is you're going to put their four of a kind here and you're going to spread out the 12 or 16 cards in a line just as you see here. What you are going to have the spectator do now is you're going to have the spectator stick their cards face up anywhere that they want in this spread. Now, they can do this themselves, and they have the choice on where to put them. They could put them all in one spot if they wanted to. They could put them all on top, all on bottom. It doesn't matter. So once they do that, you're going to square up the cards, and one last time, you're going to show them that they had that selection. They can move the cards around if they want, but anyways, that's their selection. So what you're going to do now is you're going to overhand shuffle the cards. Now, you have to be aware that this is the only overhand shuffle that you can do in the entire trick. You can't do another one throughout the trick because it won't work. So this is the only overhand shuffle you can do, and you, and you don't have to show them, but you can if you want to. So now what you're going to do to mix it up even more is you're going to place the card down, and you're going to flip it, and you're just going to alternate down, flip, down, flip, all the way throughout the card. So let me just do this. Down, flip, down, flip. Down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip, down, flip. Alright, so once you have the cards downed and flipped just like this, what you are going to do is you are going to spread out and show them that it's all a chaotic mess right now. But you're going to explain to them that you're going to mess it up even more by playing a game. So, the game that you're going to play is you're going to put the cards into pairs of two. It doesn't matter whether the cards face up or face down, you're just going to peel off two cards and you're going to explain to them that if they want you to leave the card here they're going to say the word leave but if they want you to flip the cards over then you're going to take the cards and flip them over so of course I don't have a spectator here so I'm going to have to do this myself so let's say they say leave flip flip leave flip leave leave flip flip or leave leave so after that's done I, I, you can do it once or twice, it doesn't matter. So once that's done, you're going to do it again with four cards. So leave, flip, leave, flip, and flip. Just like that. So once that happens, you score them back up, and you can show them again that the cards are again chaotic all over the place. So, now what you're going to do is you're going to deal the cards out into four piles, going from left to right. So if you have 16 cards, plus the four of a kind, there should be 20 cards, which means five cards should be in each pile. Just a little math lesson for you adolescents out there. But, once you have all four packets, you're going to take the outermost right packet and the outermost left packet. You're going to flip them over and place them on top. Just like that. So now you should have two packets. Now you're going to ask them which packet they want on top. Do they want this packet on top or this packet on top? It honestly doesn't matter which one they choose. So let's say they choose this one. Whatever packet they choose, what you're going to do is you're going to take that packet, you're going to flip it over, and you're going to place it on top. Now flipping it over is important. If you don't flip it over, the trick won't work. You, whatever deck they choose to be on top, you have to flip it over and place it on top. So now that you've done that, the trick is done. You just have to sell it now. So what I did in the performance, and you can choose your own way, I put my hand over the deck and I reviewed with them on what we did. And I told them that the cards went back in time to the point where their cards were face up. You can do it like that or you can like put the cards behind your back and try to find a secret way of separating them. Whatever way you want to do it is up to you. But that's what I did and then what I did was I fanned out the cards and I showed them that their 10s were the only cards face up in the entire deck.
Gratis et Maxime Usus Redactum Esse Mostravi. Spero fruendum ut video vos quis si vos quis feci placere relinquere ad oblivis caris non est simile item. Nexus sequere main toto socialis instrumentis quae erit in arca descriptio de orsum usque sursum ut vos quis potest venire diceran quid mi et video ideas. Duis aliqua menim non pro odi est scriptor video et videbo vos guis in altera video. Ut mastering vite.